Hi everyone, my name is Kate here. So in this video, we will go into the second part of the Pilates mat series. So we, the previous video, you saw that we just finished the five part ab series, ending with crisscross and then a little stretch by rocking side to side uh, to massage the spine a bit. So now to go ahead and counter that, get a nice stretch for the torso and then to work the hamstrings and glutes, the back of the body, we're going to go ahead into marching. So let's all just go ahead, find a little space again on your mat if you wish to have one or just directly on the floor. I'm going to go ahead all the way down, head resting down, and you'll bring your feet or knees rather hip width apart. Feet and knees stay that way as well, and then the feet flat. And we'll take a deep breath with the arms up over your head in line with the ears. As you exhale out the mouth, press your navel to your spine and lift those hips and the arms back up. We're just stopping above your chest, the shoulders. Hold here for a breath or two. You may need to adjust your feet. So you want to feel that your shoulders were under your body, knees on top of your ankles. Now the next slow breath in, lower the arms back in line with your ears as you lower the hips an inch down from the ground. Exhale out the mouth, squeeze the lower abs, and lift the arms and hips right back up to the sky. That's two. Breathe in, slowly lower everything down. The hips do not move laterally. And breathing out the mouth, squeeze from the pelvic floor, lift everything to the sky. Let's do two more breaths. So to inhale through the nose, lower down, keeping the feet flat. Exhale out the mouth, squeeze the pelvic floor, press the navel back, lift everything up to stretch. One more deep inhale, lengthen out through those arms and exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor and now hold the body up, take one slow breath, pressing through all four corners of your feet, think of traction to the balls of the feet, so now the hips are a little higher, you feel a stretch now in the thighs and hip flexors. Going into marching, breathe in, lift the hips up, reach through your fingertips, and when you breathe out, squeeze the abs, lift the right knee up over your hip for a three count. Inhale through your nose, lower the foot down for a three count, hips stay lifted high. Exhale out the mouth, left knee lifts up over the hip for a three count. A few more. Breathe in, slowly lower the foot down, try not to move the hips. Exhale out the mouth, squeezing your abs, right knee lifts up. Continue for a few more rounds like this. So again, working on pelvic stability. Doing our best to really control the movement of the hips. And the movement of the knee lifting up comes from the lower abs, from the pelvic floor. Four steps. Inhale down, hips stay up high. Exhale up the mouth, squeeze the abs, right knee lift. Breathe in to lower the foot down. And breathe out, squeeze the abs, left knee lift. Inhale, lower down, now hold the body up. As you exhale out the mouth, press the navel back even more, hips up a little higher. A slow breath, and we'll lower the hips down along with the arms at your sides. And we'll draw the knees in once more, and rock side to side, get a little stretch. Now going to something a little bit more intermediate, but again, even if you're new, you can still find a variation. Going into legs, well, the legs will go over the body and over your torso. Hands can come under your hips and you'll do hip ups if you can't bring those legs over. So same idea, hamstrings are lengthening using your lower abs. Otherwise, with the legs going over, you'll bring your heels together, arms and hands flat, shoulders are down from the ears. On the slow inhale, legs lower just a few inches, keep the lower back on the floor. Exhale out the mouth, squeeze your abs. Legs are up and over, parallel to the floor. The inhale, flex your feet, open them nice and wide. And the slow exhale, roll down, roughly a three count, keeping your head, shoulders down onto the mat. Then inhale, heels together, toes point and lower, or keep just doing hip ups. Exhale, squeeze the abs, legs are up and over, parallel to the floor. Breathe in, flex the feet, open them nice and wide. And as we breathe out, squeeze the abs and slowly lower down. Let's do one more. Inhale, heels together, toes point and lower. Keep the shoulders pressed down. 
Exhale, squeeze the lower abs up and over, parallel. Inhale, flex and open wide. And on the exhale, squeeze in the lower abs, gently lower down. Now we'll keep the legs open for this round, or again, continue doing hip ups. Inhale, feet flex, lower down a few inches. Then on the slow exhale, press the navel back, up and over, parallel to the floor. On this inhale, bring your heels together, and toes are pointing down. To slowly exhale, roll down for three counts. I have my palms up this round for a bit more challenge, taking away that stability. Twice more. Inhale, flex, lower the legs a few inches. And exhale up the mouth, squeeze, we're up and over, parallel to the floor. Breathe in, point your toes, heels come together. And as we breathe out, round the spine to roll down slowly. Try to keep the length in the legs, feel that nice stretch, and look to the sky throughout. One more. Inhale, flex, open and lower. Exhale, squeeze the lower abs, we're up and over, parallel. Inhale, point your toes, heels come together. Try to bring your legs close to your torso. And exhale, roll down. And we hold it right there. Nice work, everyone. Let's go ahead here and just take a hold of the, uh, hold, holding the low knees. Take a slow breath, lift your head up, and just roll on up. <sighs> nice work. Now let's go ahead here and cross at the ankles and come onto hands and knees in tabletop. Going into the rear leg pull. Spread the fingers wide and evenly, and take the wrist two or three inches out in front of the shoulders. Now take a slow breath in, extend your right leg back, press through the ball of the foot, and on a slow exhale, squeeze your abs, left leg meets it. A slow inhale here, modification, knees can rest down if you need, and on the exhale, squeeze the lower abs and the right glute with your leg hip height only. Take a breath in, we're going to lean back just slightly, feel the stretch in your left calf, on the exhale, point your right toes, slightly lean forward. Inhale, flex the right foot, lean back or roll back. Exhale, point, squeeze the abs, come forward. One more. Inhale, flex, take it back. And exhale, point, squeeze, and bring it forward. A breath, flex the foot, come to center, lower the foot down as you exhale. Left side. Inhale, shoulders pull back. On the exhale, squeeze the left glute with your leg hip height only. Take a breath. Press back through your right heel. Exhale, point your left toes, squeeze and come forward slightly. We're gonna rock. Inhale, flex, rock it back. And exhale, point, squeeze and rock it forward. One more. Inhale, take it back. And exhale, point, squeeze and come forward. A slow breath, flex, return to center. Lower the foot down as you exhale. Knees are down to the mat. Big toes touch, let's find child's pose. Slow stretch here for a moment. And round your spine, slowly make your way up. And let's go ahead and lie on your left side. So we'll lie on your left side facing me, and we'll take your elbow, an inch or two in front of your shoulder, and your whole body's along the back edge of your mat, or just in one straight line, and then bring your feet forward. Well, let's see, add a slight diagonal. Now we're gonna gently bring your right foot in, and your hips may be rolling back. You want to stack the hips on top of another. So as you extend your leg out, go ahead, stack those hips, shoulders pull back. Good. Now here, we're going to take a slow breath in. Bend that top knee. Draw the leg and foot in, up to the sky. On the slow exhale, flex. Squeeze your abs, lower down, heel to heel. Outer hip and glute work here. Inhale, bend the knee in. Draw the foot all the way in to the sky. A slow exhale, find the length, push the heel away. Try not to roll back on those hips. Let's do one more. Inhale, re-bend, draw the foot into the sky. A slow exhale, push it away, heel to heel. We'll reverse the direction. Point your toes, inhale, lift the legs straight to the sky, bend the knee. Exhale, flex, and extend it all the way out. Roughly a three count, twice more. Now try to stay lifted in the chest, out of that bottom shoulder. Exhale, find that length, the best one. Even here, working on the obliques on your left side. And exhale, extend it all the way out. Now let's gently come up onto both hands. Let's find a side plank of your choice. Variation, your bottom knee, your left knee's on the floor. 
right leg, uh, right foot extends out, and you have your bottom wrist two or three inches in front of the shoulder. That's a good modification, top arm to the sky. Full version if you wish, straighten both legs, maybe stagger your feet. Everyone, to take the right arm to the sky and we'll snake it around. Inhale, look up with your hips a little higher. As you exhale, find your right arm under your torso. Twist the hips all the way around, look at your hands. Breathe in, open the chest with the arm to the sky. And breathing out, find that arm under and twist it all the way around. Snake and twist three more. Inhale, all the way up. Keep the shoulders down. And exhale, squeeze. And thread it under and twist. Breathe in. And breathing out. Once more. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, thread it all the way under. And a slow back. Just look on to the side. And as you exhale, lower right hand down. Nice. And we'll come down onto the forearm and elbow once more. We'll swing those legs forward. And find our circles, our hip circles. Again, stack the hips on top of another. We're heel to heel. Top leg is hip height only. And let's make little circles, brushing the heels together each time. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out, reverse the direction. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, two, excuse me, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, two, and inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, one. Nice work, everyone. Let's go ahead and re-bend those knees, stacking your right Foot now on top of the left, going into our little mermaid stretch. Now with a slow breath, take your left arm up and over your ear, and reach as far over as you can. Look to the sky. As you exhale, gently come all the way back up. Slide that left hand all the way out. To the inhale, slide it out. Right arm up and over, rotate your chest. Look to the sky, and exhale. Now use your obliques to lift you up. Try not to press too much on your left hand. Inhale, left arm up and over, stretch, and exhale, coming all the way back up. Breathe in, right arm up and over, look to the sky, and breathing out, making your way back up. We have one more set. Inhale, lengthen the side of the body, and exhale. Breathe in, reach up and over, staying out of the shoulders, and breathing out, coming back up. Wonderful job, everyone. Now we just swing the legs forward and make our way to the other side. Again, lining yourself to the back edge of your mat. If you're without a mat, just seeing what is the alignment of your body in one straight line. We then bring the legs and feet towards the front edge. Now to slight diagonal, hips stack on top of another. It may work for you or help you to bend the knee, top knee, and then make sure you're heel to heel. So again, not rolling back, but trying to stay neutral. Relax the hands, shoulders stay down. A breath, bend the top knee in, slide the foot in, up to the sky. A slow exhale, flex, squeeze your lower abs and control the foot going heel to heel. Inhale, draw the knee in, up to the sky, shoulders stay relaxed. Exhale, push the heel away and lower down. One more round. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, out the mouth, press the navel back, reversing the direction, toes point. Breathe in, with the leg up, bend the knee. Breathing out, flex, squeeze the abs, extend out nice and long, twice more. Again, most important here, try to keep those hips stacked on top of another. Best one, inhale up, re-bend, and exhale, flex, extend that leg out. Nice work, everyone. Let's go ahead, bring those legs right back. It's fine side plank for our snake and twist. Modification again. Right knee, your bottom knee is down. Extend your top leg out. Wherever you are, bottom shoulder is down from the ears. Wrist a couple inches in front. Top arm is up. Full version. Straighten the legs out, staggering the feet. Inhale, wherever you are, look up. Reach up to your thumb. And on the slow exhale, squeeze your abs, thread the arm under, and look back towards the thumb, try to rotate all the way around. Breathe in, open the chest, lift the arm up, 
and breathing out, squeeze the abs, spread that arm all the way under, rotate your hips as much as you can. Three more breaths, inhale, lift and look, exhale, twist all the way around to the back, inhale up, and exhale, take it down. One more, breathe in, and breathing out, A slow breath. Top arm lifts up, shoulders stay down, and as you exhale, gently return onto your hip. And let's make our way back to forearm and elbow, to the back of the mat, and legs fold. Stacking those hips, we're heel to heel. Now, we're gonna make those little circles. Top leg, hip height only, toes point lightly. With an inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, three, breathe in. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. One more, inhale, inhale, exhale, and reverse the direction. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, three. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. One more, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, one. Nice work, everyone. Rebend those knees again. This time we have the left ankle on top of the right. And we'll take a hold of the top ankle, right arm up for our mermaid stretch. Take a breath in, reach the arm up and over, rotate your chest to the sky. And as you exhale, come all the way up tall. Slide that right hand out, inhale, left arm up and over, chest rotates to the sky. And exhale, squeezing the abs, return upright. Twice more, two more sets, breathe in. And breathing out. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more full set. And even here, still have a chance to work on those obliques, but more a little gentler approach right here. Last deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Squeeze the abs. Try not to use your bottom hand to lift you back up. Nice work, everyone. Now we're going to go ahead and lie onto our tummies. And so glad all of you are here joining me today. So hopefully you can see my feet, right? And I rotate my hips side to side a little bit. Heels come together, toes rotate out for our heel beats. Actually, let's make sure everyone can easily see me down here on the floor. There we go. There we go. Now we can stack our hands on top of another, whatever is more comfortable for you, resting a cheek down or maybe the forehead, whatever feels good for you. Relax the shoulders from the ears. Again, your heels are touching. Take a breath whenever you're ready and you'll squeeze the lower glutes. Lift the legs up as high as you can. Knees straight and the feet will only come up a few inches off the mat. And then you just rhythmically beat the heels together. Then inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale three, inhale, inhale, Exhale, exhale, two, and inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, keep the feet up. Now flex those feet, and again, rhythmically beat the heels together. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out for three, and just two more breaths. So working here, the lower back, the hamstring glute line, one more breath, and exhale. Heels touch, and then lower to the floor. Nice. So now we're going into our double hip circles, outer hips and glutes, and that lower back as well. Make sure you have plenty of space around. So I'm just gonna go slight angle right here. Heels start together. Take a slow breath in, lift the legs up as high as you can, open nice and wide. As you exhale, lower the legs, squeeze the glutes, and draw the heels together for three. Inhale, legs up high, open wide. Exhale, take it down and squeeze together one more round. Breathe in, legs up, open wide, and then breathe out, lower down, and squeeze together. To reverse the direction, on the inhale, legs open as wide as your mat, lift up as high as you can. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, heels press together, lower to the mat for three. Inhale, open wide, lift up high. Exhale, squeeze the heels together, lower to the mat. Best one. Breathe in to open wide, lift the pot, and breathing out, squeeze together, and lower to the mat. Everyone, excellent job. Bring your hands under the shoulders, 
and let's simply sit back to stretch that out. Feet and knees will touch. Take a seat on your heels and then reach back for the feet. Take a breath or two. Deepest breath. And then chin to chest, rolling all the way up, head is up last. Now finishing it off with our Pilates push-ups. So a way to think of this are tricep push-ups. Your elbows are drawn close to your rib cage, pointing straight back. And let's go ahead here, find our way to downward facing dog. Feet start, hip width apart. If you feel tight in your lower, in the back of your body, feet can open as wide as your shoulders or as wide as your mat. Now the next slow breath, walk your hands back to your feet. Then bend the knees deeply. And as you exhale, round your spine and roll all the way up. Head comes up last. Now I'm going to make a slight adjustment as you stand up nice and tall. There we go. All right. And our last one, finishing it off really strong. We're going to do three sets. Now normally in Pilates, you do one push-up and you go back and forth. I'm gonna make it a little tougher. We're gonna do three push-ups at a time. So here, chin tuck to chest, round the spine. Inhale, feel free to bend your knees, hands flat as you look forward. As you exhale, walk your hands out until you're in a plank. Now either on your toes, full version, or modification on your knees. Elbows pulled in, three push-ups, good push-ups, here we go. Inhale, bend your elbows lower down. Exhale, up the mouth, squeeze your whole body, press up three. Inhale, take it down. Exhale up the mouth for one more. Inhale, take it down, press through your hands. Exhale up, and now hips to the sky. Taking one slow breath here. The next inhale, hands walk back to your feet. Then you bend the knees, exhale, roll all the way up. Round that spine, head comes up last. Let's do two more sets. Here we go. Chin, touch the chest. Inhale, round the spine, hands come to the floor, look out in front, exhale, walk the hands out until you're in a plank on your toes or even on your knees. Three good push-ups. Inhale, get low, exhale, squeeze your whole body, press up, three. Inhale down, exhale, come out. For one more, inhale, take it down, and exhale, shh, hip to the sky, pause here for one breath. A slow breath, we walk the hands back. Try to have the hips not move laterally as much as you can. And then we bend the knees and roll all the way up. Now your very best set of push-ups. Here everyone, try to do at least one, your first one on the toes, then drop to your knees after if you need. Here we go. Take a breath, chin tuck to the chest, around the spine, slide those hands to the floor and walk them out until you're in a plank. Everyone, starting on your toes. Here we go. Breathe in, take it down. Breathing out, shh. Twice more, knees or toes. Inhale, and exhale, shh. Best one, inhale, exhale, shh. Hips up, one breath. And a slow breath, hands walking back, so really squeeze up out the floor. Control those hips, and then we bend the knees and roll all the way up. Well done, everyone. Let's go ahead here. Wrap your arms back. Imagine you're holding a large beach ball. We're going to open up the chest a little bit. So reach back. Tailbone is tucked under. Just take one breath here. Now, I'm going to mirror you. You're going to take your right hand over to your left forearm, relax the arms down, and take your right ear to your right shoulder, gently tug that forearm for one breath. We turn the head up to center, and we'll just switch the hands out. And now lower your left ear to left shoulder, gently tug the opposite arm, avoid the wrist, one slow breath. And releasing the head back up, 
release the arms out. Nice work, everyone. And especially if you're brand new to Pilates, thank you so very much for joining me. And we will have a weekly class as well. Any input, any feedback that you wish to provide, please feel free. I am with open ears. And again, my name is Katya, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.